And last but not least, make sure you're aware of the fifth tip is to use guidelines or an overlay of the buttons and stuff that appear on the social media vertical thing that you use, whether it's TikTok or shorts. So this last tip is just to help ensure that your video and any text that you add doesn't overlap with any of the buttons, the video title, the account, or anything else that's up here at the top once you export it to YouTube Shorts or TikTok or whatever. So what you're looking at right here is just a screen grab from my phone of a short that I made recently. But if you notice here that it's much taller than what, like this right here, if I click over here, this is a screen grab of that exact same shot, how I exported it as the video. So look at the dimensions here. And if I click back on the short, you can see it obviously adds this bottom stuff and chops off some of the sides, just so you're aware. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this one in and plunk it over top of the other one here. And you'll notice that it's really small right in the middle right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna expand it out so it's the same size. So I got to right there. Now, I'm gonna just move it down a little bit because I know it's maybe about like that. And then watch when I click the eyeball here to get rid of it. You can see that it is actually, look at these players on the side here and this person's hat. Once I bring this one back, part of the hat's cut off and a couple of those girls' faces that were over here are cut off. So it definitely chops some off. So what I figured out for mine is that the number is actually 334. That's the scale that I have to do for my screen grab. And if I drop the opacity down a little bit so we can see through, I can maneuver this to line it up so it lines up almost perfectly. I'm just kind of looking at how created by lines up and how this text lines up here. So that's pretty much the exact same size. But now if I hide the one underneath here, you can see that's what's chopped off a little bit here and a little bit there. So what I suggest is just leave it like this for a second and you're gonna go down to this wrench, click on that, and then go up to show rulers. You click on that, your rulers are gonna show up here and here, and here are the lines that I suggest creating. So I click up here, click, and drag down. I like to drag down a line so it's just above where the account is in the title, so I know I don't wanna go have anything go lower than that. I wanna drag one from the side and go right here, so just past the buttons, so I know that I don't wanna go anything past there that's important. And then I like to actually put two right where I know the stuff is gonna be chopped off when people watch it on a phone. So I know that I'm gonna have stuff over there, but I know on a phone it's gonna be chopped off. And then maybe even up here to indicate where these top buttons are right there. Now, if you don't wanna create the guidelines yourself, you can also just go to Google and search up an overlay. So I found this TikTok safe area template here, download it, import it into your project, drag it in over top of your footage, right click on it, and then go down to set to frame size. That'll make sure it goes to whatever frame you have, and then just edit away and you're good to go. So now if we add captions, for example, we can use the guidelines to help us place them and edit them so they fit properly. So for this one, for example, the first thing I wanna do is move it up so it's out of like the description zone down here. So I'm gonna go back to my align and transform within my essential graphics, click on this one right here, set vertical position, slide left, and just get it out of there. But our issue this time is this caption is too long. So it still goes into the area where the buttons are. So here's three different ways that you can mess with that. Okay, so the first way would be just to go back up to your size and you know scale it back so it goes to about there. So it, now it fits safely in that zone. If I undo that, you can also go in and make it into two lines. So if I click on it and I get the box, if I double click, I get the red and then I can click in here backspace and edit. So now this caption is too long, actually fits properly in here. That's the second way, make it two lines. And then the third way would be to split it. So maybe you go back to your caption here and you're like, okay, well I can split it at this caption and have the second one as being is too long. So I go here, I go to my razor tool, split it, go back to my selection tool. And then for this side of the caption, the first part, 
I'm gonna double click in and delete the is too long. And then for this other side, I'm gonna double click in and get rid of the first part. So now if we watch it, it's this caption is too long. To watch other videos like this one and learn more about editing vertical videos, make sure to check out one of the videos linked on the screen right now.